a big day for your boys. I know you went one, two in the uh, individuals with Jaden and um, obviously Jacob Dowdy. Uh, just talk about their boys uh, team performance today and, and winning this region three championship. Man, I didn't think that it would be possible for us to, to keep dropping times, but um, you know, we, I'm pretty sure one through five dropped time from you know a couple weeks ago here. Um, like I said the other day, we're we're not satisfied. We're getting hungrier every day, and we're coming after it. Um, you know, Garrett Garrett Hatcher today he stepped up big time. He had a big time PR 1851. Um, I mean, this is a place overall. He was uh, 12, 13, something through there. Um, but you know, we're talking about a kid who was running you know 22s as a freshman. He's already breaking that 19 minute mark. He's down to 1850. Um, you know, Eli Northrup, he, he put in so much hard work this summer. Uh, you know, he ran 1845. He was in the same boat as Garrett running 22s as a freshman. Um, my boys team is the epitome of working hard and hard. Is that what is that what got them this point? Just going out and doing it on their own and doing it in practice? And... Yeah, um, we have a uh, really healthy competitive uh, spirit about us amongst teammates and amongst each other um, and we just refuse to lose you know we we go out and we run as hard as we can and leave it all and we finish on empty and that's our progress that's our goal every single day every workout that we can do that's our goal finish on empty so you had Jacob I think he did tonight today everybody uh, kind yeah. of finished on empty uh, Jacob set the new course record yeah what's that mean for him and the program uh you know <clears throat> I misspoke earlier in the week and said we didn't have a regional champion before on the boys' side. Um, we did have one in the in the 80s, um, so I want to pay homage to that. Uh, Ivan Phillips back in the 80s. But, you know, somebody like like Mr. Phillips and like Mr. Dowdy and even Jaden Holstein coming along, um, they're, they changed the entire culture of your program. They come in and they set the tone every day. You know, they're all business. Like, when it's time to get down and get at it, they go at it. There's no horseplay about it. It's serious time when we step out on the field. So, with Dowdy setting that record, I would say it's the first record for a shady cross country runner. I mean, a regional record. Yeah, they don't well, come along every day. Yeah, they don't. They, you only get one shot at it. One shot at it per year. So, um, I, I would venture to say it's it's probably up there. What, what is is he a sophomore? Or junior? He's a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Yeah. So what's the limit for this kid? I understand he's it's like people breaking records. It's just about every event he goes to. Yeah, he uh, it's whatever he wants to be. That kid has the craziest desire to get better every day that I've ever seen. He does. You know, people think it's just you know come out and run every day. It's not that. There's a lot of you know different type of workouts, different type of diet, different type of you know cross training, the way you eat, the way you drink, everything. He's got the whole package, and he's when he's not being coached, he's looking up stuff and he's figuring out how to get better on his own. Why do you think that is? I mean, it's, he's bound. He's he's got he's got it. He's just got it. And you can't define what it is as an athlete, but you know it when you see it. He's got it. Jaden Holstein probably better known by a lot of the area fans as a basketball player. Yeah. As you, and you have some basketball players yeah. on this team. Um, just talk about him coming in second. I mean, you go run one two in a meet yeah. in, uh, like the regional tournament. Yeah. Like that, it's a pretty impressive meet. Uh, Jaden, you know, Jaden's similar to Dowdy. Jaden is he's a special athlete, man. It doesn't matter what sport it is. Jaden's going to come out and he's going to compete. Um, that kid right there, if it's ever possible to see somebody who's fierce as a runner, it's Jaden. Um, I just know that anytime Jaden or Dowdy or any of my boys cross that finish line, they have nothing left. There's, they have no more gears left. They lay it all out there. What about the girls team? I mean, was it a disappointment? Well, you're still going to the state tournament. Yeah. Um, all your girls will be there representing. Yeah. Disappointed or, or, or no? Um, Did Nichols County really ran well today? No. You know. You want to say disappointed, but I'm not. You know, uh, losing to a team like Nicholas County, who's been such a such a great program for so long, and, and the girls' side, I don't think you can ever be upset about it um, when you lose to somebody that that's that caliber. You know, the, the competitor in me is, is is dying right now. You know, I, I want to win. That's what we want to do. But um, you know, the girls, I would have liked to be first, but we're still working on changing the program to getting to back to be a state tournament. Well, you, you came from a program that uh, really has cross-country culture, too, uh, yeah. in high school. Yeah. And is that what you're trying to build here? Are you 
rent people that might not know you rent a pipe. Yeah. Um, is that what you're trying to build here? Um, I mean, do you uh, take a lot of that, or, or, or do you just? But I understand this might just be the beginnings uh, from what's coming and, and how yeah. big you guys can be. Yeah, uh, I got a little teared up about it. But, uh, I had a, uh, had a great coach. You know, and uh, that right there inspires more coaches than anything else. Having a great coach to uh yeah, yeah, he built that oh yeah man like <laughs> sorry no it's all right uh you know <clears throat> having a coach who comes in and treats you like their own kid and loves you like their own and that's special and that's what i had and uh that's what i try to get back to my kids yeah. The same kind of thing. Oh yeah. They he, tell people who your coach was. Uh, my coach was David Coburn uh, from Athens, West Virginia. And, and coach ran cross country, ran all the regionals and everything. <laughs> Pretty much the regional was uh, always there, wasn't it? I yeah. Mean, uh, to be honest with you, that man right there has told me so many stories. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's not true. He's <laughs> he's, he's got the typical dad stories where he can tell you something and it, it'll be so far fetched, but you'll believe it because he's what he says. But you know, just he told me a long time ago, if you treat your kids good, they'll give you all they got, and that's what I try to live by. I try to be treating them because they're, they're, they're giving you everything they got they? every day, and they showed that today. Okay, hey, coach, I every appreciate day. it, and congratulations on Thank the success today. Thank, Thank you, sir.